Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do one of these orthographic or multi-view sketching uh, with the circles. Okay. So uh, it starts the same. I know that this right here is my uh, my front view. Okay, this would be my right view, and this right here is my top view, facing down on it. All right, so let's go ahead and count. So I'm going to go from center point to center point is how I'm going to count. So I know it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I know that I'm going to draw this part seven wide. Okay. And it is one, two tall. So let me go ahead and just start with that part. All right, so now I know from here to here was seven. So I just wanted to start off with that bottom part. Okay, I know that this is my center point. So I go one, two. I'm gonna continue on with this same line, two more. And then I'm gonna connect. Okay, now with this one, it also continues on one, two. I'm going to continue this bottom one on too, but this part you can tell that the line doesn't continue on. That edge doesn't continue on. It's all one piece at this point. So I'm going to leave it like that. And this part is one, two, three, four. Okay, and then it goes one, two, three, four. So up here at the top, I'm going to go over four, and then I'll go down those two. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw all of the object lines for each one of them. Then I'll come back in and do my hidden lines. Then I'm going to do my center lines. All right, so I kind of have a process here. So next I'd like to do my uh, top view. So just like before, I'm going to have these construction lines. I'm just going to go up with those so that I can see uh, that I'm on the same lines. All right, you don't have to draw those construction lines, but I want you to be thinking about it, that you keep them all lined up on those same lines. Okay. So now for a top view, again, it's still going to be here to here with seven, and then two and two. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So again, just lining up, I really don't have to count that because uh, it's going to match. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put a dot here. I know that from here to here, I've got an arc. All right, so I've got this arc. So I know that my center line or my center point is two over. Right? And I probably should use a pencil to mark these so that I can later go back in and uh, erase. But I just kind of want to get a feel for what it's going to look like. All right, so I'm just putting these dots so that I can see that this is going to be an arc. All right, right here it shows as an arc. So I can go ahead and fill that in. I'm not the best at circles, but try. Like I said, not the best at circles, but you get the point. Okay, now I can come on over to this seven, because I already counted it. As you can tell, if I drew my line, construction line on up, Let's see that it would end there. So draw a construction line on up from here. This is where my circle is going to go from here to here. Because I have one, two on this side, and on this side, one, two. 
So if that's my center point, or my center, it's 1, 2, and 1, 2. So here was 1, 2, here was 1, 2. Okay? So now I'm going to go ahead and connect those circles. I'm going to actually draw it as a circle. I'm going to connect my dots, I mean. Okay. Alright, so now I've drawn the first part of the circle. I also have a second circle to draw. This is just one on each side. Right, so the radius is just one. I'm just going to draw my little dots so I can connect those. And try to do it as a little better than me, hopefully, at connecting those to make them look like circles. Same thing on this one. I'm going to draw my little dots to connect. And connect those into a circle. And they should actually look like perfect circles, not like uh, isos looking like uh, ellipses. They should actually look like circles. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the right view. Right, so again, looking at these construction lines, right, this height can all be on the same level. And it's going to look like a square because right? you can't tell that these are circles, which is the whole point and why we have to put these center lines in there. So it's one, two, three, four over and one, two, three, four up. So it's a four by four. I have a change in depth at this level. So I'll have an edge, right? an object line there. Okay, so I've drawn all my object lines. At this point, I'm ready to add hidden lines because that's next. I don't have any cut out areas right, to, to show any section lines but because uh, that would have been shown uh, first, but I don't have anything like that. So now I'm ready to do hidden lines. All right, I've got a cut out in the middle here and then the middle here. So I'm going to draw these hidden lines where there is a cutout. So there's an area cut out here. And also both of these will overlap. So I'm just going to go all the way down with this one. And I draw these hidden lines as dotted lines. Okay, once I've shown that on all of my views, my hidden lines, now I'm ready to put in center lines. All right, so we're going to always have little center lines on our circles. Okay, it's going to go all the way out here. This one's going to go all the way out here and here. And center lines are usually drawn lighter than those object lines, but I'm still using a marker so that you can see where I'm drawing it, so you can see it better on this video. But usually center lines are drawn a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish off my center lines here. Oh, and I also have a center line here. If I hadn't had, if this would have been an arc, I wouldn't have drawn this side of the center line. Okay, on these two, they're cutouts in the in the middle. All right, they're shown with these uh, hidden lines, and so they're just going to be a straight line, showing that yes, it is a center line. Okay, little dash and lines. All right, so now I'm finished with this uh, orthographic or multi-view sketch. The next one I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a multi-view sketch, and I'm going to draw the isometric view for that sketch. So you can see that these drawings, these multi-view drawings, really can show you what the shape looks like uh, for the ISO view. If you're not given the ISO view, just by taking these three you can draw this one. So that's what I'm doing in the next uh, practice video.